Okay, let's look at the typical structure of a darbuka. I'm gonna bring up a darbuka so you can see it. This is a standard metal darbuka. The standard metal darbuka has a typical structure of a metal body, right? So the body is the main section of the drum. The main section of the drum made of metal and it is the goblet section. So it's the one that narrows and widens again. So it's wide, it narrows, it widens again. And the body of the drum is where the, the sound is produced. As such, in the middle of the body where, the, where it narrows, that's what we call the belly of the drum. The belly of the drum is where a lot of the sound is processed. A lot of the deep bass is produced. Because what happens is the sound goes in through the top of the drum. It hits the walls. It starts bouncing around. As it reaches the middle section, the narrowed section, it bounces much more tightly. So it bounces a lot more quickly. And then it widens again and it shoots out of the back. It widens and shoots out of the back and creates this real deep bass, right? So that's what happens in the belly of the drum. That's the first part of the drum, the, the body, which includes the belly of the drum. Okay, good. Now, then we have the skin. The skin is the bit right at the top of the drum. On a metal darbuka, it's almost always made of plastic. The skin is made of plastic at the top of the drum and it's where our fingers hit in order to make a sound. So you, you hit the, the skin and the sound is created. Anything that touches the skin will affect the sound of your playing, of the sound of your rhythm. So the skin is at the top of the drum. Then we join the skin to the body using the head. The head is the cylindrical metal ring at the top of the drum, which fixes, attaches the skin to the body of the drum. So what happens is we put the skin on the body of the drum, then we overlay the head onto that, and then we bolt down the head onto the body. So we join them together. As we join them, as we compress them together, what happens is the plastic skin stretches and becomes tight. As the plastic skin stretches and becomes tight, it becomes easily playable. So the plastic skin then becomes tight, the darbuka skin is then controlled and in a, an even position, and then we have the perfect sound being created from our darbuka. That is the standard metal darbuka. Next we have the clay darbuka, right? So a clay darbuka is a, it's, the, it's the only other one we're going to look at, but the clay darbuka is slightly different. The clay darbuka again has a body. So it has a body and it has the belly of the drum, just like a standard metal darbuka, right? So a clay darbuka has a body, it has um, the, uh, the, the belly of the drum inside where the sound is created. But then, but then we have the skin. The skin is over the top of the metal of the clay darbuka and the skin is made of natural leather. So the skin is made of natural leather and it's joined to the body of the drum by ropes. So we use an intricate roping pattern to join the top skin to the uh, clay body. So the ropes then attach the skin to the body, pull the skin over the body. We use glue as well to kind of keep that in place. We use the ropes to secure it and, uh, and just slightly do slight adjustments to the tension. But all of those things create a darbuka which has a natural leather skin and a clay body. Note that there's no head on the clay body. So on the clay darbuka, we don't have a, an additional head that attaches the skin to the body. No, we attach the skin to the body using a roping system. One thing to just bear in mind here is that the words um, skin and head are used interchangeably. So if I was to say hit the darbuka head or hit the darbuka skin, if I say hit the darbuka head, I don't mean hit the top metal ring. I really mean hit the skin, right? So if we say hit the metal head, uh, that means we're talking about the metal head. But if we're just saying hit the head, you know, the darbuka head or the darbuka skin or replace the darbuka head or replace the darbuka skin, we're normally talking about the, the skin on the darbuka. Most people will use this uh, term interchangeably.